Well, we're just gonna try this and see how it works. Um, just a little demonstration of this uh, mini amp. <clears throat> it's designed primarily for something like a cigar box guitar, which I don't have built yet. But um, it's designed for something like that, but there's no reason you can't play something else on it. But it's not a, it's not a high fidelity um, amp. It's just a, just a nice little solid state amp. And I'll kind of go through the features. Uh, of course, you have your power. Since this is a prototype, I don't have anything labeled yet. This is a bass enhance, enhancement switch. Um, doesn't make a lot of difference, but a little bit of difference helps um, on a smaller amp like this. And then this is uh, a dirt switch. Um, it just gives you a little bit of added uh, dirt to your signal. Um, you have volume, tone, and gain. And uh, I'll start out it's so small and not a lot of volume that you usually play it um, with the volume on high. But even with the volume on high, it uh, you get a you kind of get a little bit of you get a little bit of uh, breakup with it on high. If you set it lower, then um, it's you know you don't have any breakup whatsoever so there's not a lot of headroom with this amp but um anyway that's just clean that's as clean as it will get um i have a little bit of reverb running on it um, on a separate pedal. Uh, it doesn't have reverb. I'll give you a sample of just the dry tone. A little reverb helps everything. Um, so I'll have that reverb on. I had it I had it turned up pretty high. This is back on the re back and off on the reverb. So that's kind of a more nor normal reverb. I had it set up for kind of a the jazzy sound. We were listening to it on um, on the net pickup there, and um, I'll just kind of give you a flash of this guitar and what I'm playing at the moment. Um, so that was on the Filtertron that's in the neck. That's just a... That is the uh, bridge pickup. Which I've got it in single coil mode right now. Um, the little Seymour Duncan little 59 that I have in there. I have it coil split. So there's full humbucker. probably going to go to a six inch speaker i can do that in this same box see how that sounds um if not i may go to an eight and make just a little bit bigger box but it just all depends i may do both this is a nice size it's um eight inches by ten inches um six inches deep it has a it has a open back which I prefer to close backs. As you could probably see there too, there is a uh, daisy chain 
my power supply hooked up to it. I have the rest of it hooked up to my pedals. So, you know, that kind of makes it handy running on nine volts. You can hook it up. And if you have a daisy chain, hook up your other uh, pedals, whatever you're wanting to run in front of it, um, all on the same power supply. You don't have to have several cords. Um, or you could run it on a nine volt battery. I don't know how long it would run pushing a speaker on a nine volt battery, but, but you could do it for a little while anyway. We'll start messing with the knobs here a little bit. The tone, you know, it's just a, just a real basic tone circuit. It doesn't do a whole lot. It cuts the highs a little bit as you turn it down boost your bass it's not a EQ really it's just a, a little tone circuit so I keep it set about flat about you know about midways or or up just a little bit cuts a small amount of the volume if you turn it all the way down and then your gain you have to pardon my hands here So the gain circuit on this thing works really well. You can see it starts getting dirty pretty quick. If you turn it all the way up, that's still on the neck pickup single coil mode. go to the uh, neck pickup. So um, anyway, you can get a pretty good range of tones there, and especially if you add a um, overdrive in front of it. But Sounds like it needs a little bit more gain for to get that tone. Oh, I never did turn the knot the the grit knob on. So see it adds a little bit uh and not just a ton but the gain itself does quite a bit in that area so i kick in this uh, this is actually a one of my pedals it's uh very similar to a, a peak cornish super sustain too um real nice little overdrive for something like this but here's the signal without it <laughs> starts getting thick pretty quick with that.
Africa.